What's up everyone, Chlorine King here. I am at a service call to diagnose this heater and I came across something I figured would be a good learning opportunity for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you what I found and how I'm gonna diagnose this issue. All right, so the problem is I can't really test this heater further because I'm not really, I'm getting power, but not the correct kind of power. What, let me explain that. So what I always like to do first is go ahead and ground to one leg of power. And then if you zoom in on the meter, you see we got 122 volts on one leg. And then I'm gonna move the meter or probe to the other leg. And you see down at the meter, we have 122 volts. So everyone would naturally think, oh, that's great. I have power, this device is working, the heater's bad, right? Well, you'd be wrong. We need to take one more step. One thing I always do on dual pole breakers, I test both at the same time. Now look, we're getting zero volts. So what does that mean? 99.9% .9 of the time, that is a bad breaker. And so what's happening is, imagine a dual pole breaker. In fact, let's go over to the breaker. Come over here. Now this is the heat pump breaker right here. So a dual pole breaker, we have two wires coming out. What's happening is the 120 we're seeing on one leg is coming out of one side, creating a circuit, coming back around and at the heater, we're testing 120 on the other side. The problem is we're not getting two individual 120 legs. We're getting one 120 leg coming back around and making a, a circuit. So we're only having 120 volt being put out of this breaker, not 240 that we need, which is why we can't get this heater to test. Because if we were getting a true 240, when we put these two legs together, we would get 240 volts and instead we're only getting um, zero. And just to verify that again, go ahead and keep it on here. I'm gonna go ahead and test each leg individually again. There's 122, test the other leg. Well, let me get it on there properly. We're getting 122. So again, it looks like we're having 240 come in, but we're really not. And that's why I can't diagnose this heater any further. So definitely take the next step and test both legs together, and that'll verify that we're getting good output from the breaker. So get an electrician involved, get this thing fixed, and then we can verify further if this heater needs to be replaced or repaired. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit about that. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you next video.